My Aunt Patsy is head over heels over a guy she's never met. I really got suspicious when she stated that he is in Cairo, Egypt. She told me that he writes her incredible love letters and that she thinks it's so cute because he mixes his words up. No, that's because he's using a translation app. I've watched enough Dr. Phil shows to see so many scams. I asked her to get me a passport photo. She refused. She wouldn't let me run a background check. She wants this fairy tale so bad that she's willing to compromise everything, even her common sense. I seriously do hope Dr. Phil can help my aunt, but at this point, I feel like she is just lonely and very desperate for attention. Well, joining us now is Karen uh, via Polycom. And Karen, you said you've lost all compassion for her, but the truth is you want her to be safe. You don't want her to be taken advantage of any more than she already has if you believe that she has been taken advantage of, right? There is no doubt that she's been taken advantage of. Everyone is so worried about her that they're sick. Well, we're going to talk about mm -hmm. that. And, you know, you, you said he spent a lot of money taking care of his workers, some of whom were injured when there was a, the ISIS, ISIS bomb to mosque right. uh, in Cairo um, over the Easter Good Friday, Good Friday time there, right? Right. And uh, did you read much about that, those bombings? No, I, I saw them in the newspaper, that they were in the newspaper, but I didn't read it. I, I did research uh, looking for attacks in Cairo at the time, and I searched the Egyptian newspaper, the world newspapers. I searched everywhere, and there were no attacks on any mosque in Cairo in or around Easter. Really? That oh, didn't happen. You didn't read that in the newspaper because it didn't happen. Some, I guess he told me he was in the newspaper. If there weren't any bombings, then there weren't any injuries, so there's nothing to pay off before he can come home. That's true, too. There were no bombings. Okay. Okay, well, let's just put that aside for a minute, okay? Yes. Now, he is an engineer because he, you said he's built bridges. He's built oil rigs. Over there, of course, these big structures, people can be killed if they're not built properly, so you have to have an engineering degree, which he got from the University of Paris. Right. Well, we researched the University of Paris, and I talked to them. It's no longer an institution. In May of 1968, it was reorganized into 13 different schools, and it offers four different faculties, medicine, law, theology, and arts. The conclusion is they do not offer an engineering degree. They never have offered an engineering degree. And he's never been a student at the University of Paris. <laughs> Ever. Period. 